Today we're going to draw these pictures where something is trapped down a well. Now what would a well look like if you were down inside it looking up? Because the bricks or the lines that the bricks make are essentially parallel. You should know from math class that parallel lines are lines that are next to each other that would never ever touch. You may know from art class with me that when you draw parallel lines, they will meet in the distance in a place called the vanishing point. This is how we're going to think about our wells. All of the parallel lines going up and down are going to meet in the center, kind of in a point in the center of the hole for the top of the well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the water at the bottom of the well. We're going to make something stuck down our wells. It doesn't matter what you draw. You can draw anything, robots, aliens, animals. I'm going to draw just a person sitting on a rock at the bottom. I am starting with pencil, so I can uh, erase any mistakes. It's good to usually start with pencil. I am going to come back with crayons and watercolors, maybe some washes later. But right now, I'm just using pencil. Draw whatever you would like stuck down the well. When we make the top of the well, we're going to trace a circle. I'm using this tape, but just use anything round, cup, plate, whatever. After that, I am going to start drawing other circles around that first circle. Be careful with this. You want the kind of equal distance for, from the original circle for the whole circle. Each concentric circle or the next circle can, should be a little bit farther away than the last one. It is okay to go off the paper with this. You should go off the paper. Don't try to squeeze the circle in and make um, the lines closer in some places. It won't look right if you do that. We're just going to keep making concentric circles. Concentric means a kind of a circle inside of a circle inside of a circle. We're going to do this till we get all the way down to the water. When I start making lines for the bricks, they're all going to go towards the center of the first circle, all the way around the circle. Do one circle at a time. And when you put the, neck, the lines in the next circle, they should go between the lines from the previous circle. That's how bricks are usually laid in something. They're not just straight one on top of another. They stagger them. So the lines for the bricks will be between the next line. Keep going with this until you get all the way down to the water. Now let's start adding some color and going over our lines. I'm using crayons because I'm going to watercolor and use washes later, but you can use whatever you have. If you want to watercolor later, you can't use regular markers because they bleed and fade, but crayons works great. Pastels, Sharpies, that kind of stuff, that'll work great. Add something in the sky. Uh, I've got a sun. I'm going to put some clouds in there too, but you could have people peeking in down there, or you could have plants coming up or something like that. But then I'm going to go over all my lines, being careful, um, and adding more details with my color. Now for the bricks, I'm just mixing some brown and red paint in with water to make a wash. Um, that's fine if you have that. If not, you can watercolor, do whatever you'd like. In class, we will probably do that. I'm also doing the same for the water and for the sky above um, in the original circle I put in there. After that, I'm going to finish it off with watercolors, but you finish it off with whatever you've got. Color it, it makes it a lot better. And here you go. I hope you enjoy it.